What do you do about those people who feel that they must do everything perfectly? I won't tell you whether I'm one of those people or not, but you know, sometimes you just really hate to make mistakes, especially in public or in a conversation. That is a brilliant question, okay? Um, so there is a process and this is the best method that I have ever experienced, it certainly worked for me, to get from where you are today to the confidence that what you want to say is what you're actually saying. All right? And the process works like this. Fundamentally, if you can picture yourself in the next couple of weeks becoming actual friends, uh, maybe a mentor, all right, to some of these university students, say in Nicaragua or Guatemala or Honduras. Can you picture yourself being in that kind of uh, mentor friendship relationship with them? Oh, sure. Sure. You're going to ask, so, you know, uh, what's their story? What are they studying in university? What, what are their dreams and goals? Mm -hmm. What do they want to be? You're going to find about, out about them as a human being. So what's going to happen is naturally that bond, um, that friendship that happens, allows you to make mistakes. What you're probably experiencing right now is that when you speak to native Spanish speakers, um, fluent Spanish speakers, you have doubts about whether you're saying it the right way, whether you're conjugating the right way, um, and uh, it's a little bit embarrassing, right? So what happens is when you're helping somebody on the other side speak English and you see them mangle English and you're helping them with English, when it's your turn to try and say something in Spanish, you don't feel that embarrassment. And then, so that's the first stage is the opportunity to try and say something even if you know it's wrong. You show me your mangle, I'll show you mine. Right. And I can illustrate this, all right? If I say in English, yesterday I go to the beach, <coughs> it is beautiful. You know what I meant. And you can help me correct that mm -hmm. sentence. And I can say the same thing in Spanish. Ayer voy a la playa. Es hermosa. Right? And then, if I say that, they can help me say, Ayer fui a la playa. Right? I went to the beach. But my opportunity to just talk, to just say, Ayer voy a la playa. A la playa. Yesterday I go to the beach. And then there's somebody safe that can help me understand what is correct. Now I've heard what is correct. And so now when I transition to a stranger, I have the confidence to say, ayer fui a la playa. And I have the confidence that what I'm trying to say is correct. This sounds to me like the way we learn our first language at home as small children. It is very similar. Your mom, you, you know, you talk the way your mama talks, right? Yeah. And when I got that down, you. I'll talk to somebody else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is, this is taking the best of both worlds. Um, a lot of people, I was one of those people. Uh, when I started speaking Spanish, um, I was already retired and I tried all of those, um, apps and programs and things out there and I failed miserably. I went to four different language schools in Costa Rica, um, <coughs> couldn't speak Spanish and I thought I was too old to speak Spanish and uh, <coughs> I was one of those people that doubted about whether you have to be a kid to speak Spanish or to speak any other foreign language. Um, but I didn't quit and uh, thank, thank goodness. Y ahora yo puedo hablar en español um, con fluidez. Children learn a language a certain way through trial and error. But think about this, Mike. How long does it take 
somebody to learn their native tongue. Take your average 10 year old, 12 year old, 15 year old, 18 year old. So let's take somebody at 10 years old and let's imagine their level, let's say of English and a native American, North American, however you want to call us. Um, 10 year old reading and vocabulary level. It took them 10 years to get there. As an adult, how long will it take you to reach a 10 year old vocabulary level? I'm dying to find out. I guarantee you it's not 10 years. An adult can reach that same level in months because we are able to apply logic and we're able to say, well, if we conjugate nadar to swim this way, that's an AR verb. And so if we want to conjugate caminar, which is to walk, we can probably conjugate it the same as we did nadar. So we, can, we have the ability to use logic to improve how quickly we learn the language. So believe it or not, everybody, adults learn a language vastly faster than children. Mm. This is true, all right? The difference is children learn without fear. Yeah. If we can find a way to practice and improve without fear, that's what makes all the difference. And that is sheer lingo. You can practice without fear or being embarrassed because the other person's learning also. Good. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>